proposed Aldi store will enhance the site by redeveloping an area which serves as an entrance to the wider rural international business world. It would sit well with surrounding uses and will provide an opportunity for employment, creating up to 50 jobs, which gives added weight to support of this proposal. The environmental benefits of redeveloping the site that continues to remain vacant with no reasonable prospect of it being brought forward for its allocated use also weighs in favour of supporting this application. A without prejudice sequential and impact retail assessment has been submitted with this application, which has taken account um, of defined centres such as New Ferry, Bromwell Village and the Croft Retail Park. Alternative sites have been considered but have been ruled out for a variety of reasons, including units of an appropriate size being available. The impact assessment, which has been independently appraised, outlines that there would not be undue harm caused for existing retail centres or alternative food retail stores, which would continue to offer an alternative to Aldi within the catchment area. The proposed development will retain much of the landscaped area along the New Chester Road and the A41 frontage. Additional tree planting will also take place within the proposed 122 space car park, which will serve to lessen any impacts of this area in the wider community. The principal elevations will foot the A41 and Port Causeway, and the design of the store is going to be acceptable. There would be no adverse impacts in terms of traffic generation, with the existing network able to accommodate demand. The store also provides for access to the public transport network. Other non-industrial land uses are located within immediate proximity of the site, including um, several hotels, a car showroom and uh, a job centre. In context of neighbouring land uses, the proposals are therefore considered to be acceptable. It's considered that there are sufficiently robust um, considerations that weigh in favour of allowing this development as a departure from the development plan, including the environmental benefits for redevelopment of this vacant site, the creation of local employment opportunities and having regard to the conclusions of sequential retail impact assessments and viability studies together with marketing results. The application has also generated significant support from local residents um, and there are currently eight, eight letters of objection and this can be just detailed on the waiting list. The proposals are recommended for approval and there's no petition of objection.
say there's limited availability. And the one particular site that's looked at in the report is the, the former co-op in New Ferry. And that's only a mile from this application <coughs> site within the New Ferry Town Centre. So the applicant's reasons for rejecting that particular site is its irregular shape and lack of connectivity between the store entrance and the car park. Now, if we bear in mind that for this application, the applicant is prepared to demolish two large buildings in order to build its store, I don't think those are insurmountable um, challenges. So I would argue that there is a suitable alternative site, and we shouldn't let the fact that it doesn't suit all these precise requirements undermine our existing policies supporting town centres and centres of employment. So the other factor I want to look at is you know, the impact this would have on the uh, vitality and the viability of the existing town centres, and in particular New Ferry. And again, I would quote from the applicant's own figures that are given in the report. They say that the existing of the Leamington Road is forecast to lose 27.5% of its trade and a further 8% of the new stores trade will be diverted from existing new ferry stores. Okay, so that's well over a third of the business that the new store is going to come from within the new ferry area. And that means that the potential for linked shopping, linked shopping trips within the new ferry area is very significantly eroded by the fact that we're bringing those people into a site which has no potential for linked shopping trips. Okay. Uh, there's a further 27.5% Asda on the Croft, um, the Croft Retail Park, and whatever you think of the Croft Retail Park, it does also provide for further opportunities for linked shopping trips. Okay, and then there's a further impact on Bromborough Village itself, and I would also point out that in between New Ferry and Bromborough Village, you have a small row of shops on Coronation Drive, which includes a convenience store which is just five minutes walk from where all of are proposing to build this particular store. So I think, you know, basically, if we approve this application, it's highly likely there will be severe stress on the existing outlets in New Ferry and also in Bromborough Village and in between. And I'll just make the general point that a lot of the problems we have with our existing town centres are caused by our own decisions for out-of-town retail centres. And really, I feel we should learn from the mistakes we've made in the past and stop repeating them. If we build more out-of-town shopping areas or shopping facilities, our existing town centres are going to struggle. So I'll just conclude with referring back to the National Planning Policy Framework. Paragraph 27 says, where an application fails to meet the sequential test, which this one does because they haven't adequately considered the existing site within New Ferry, or is likely to have significant adverse impact on town centre vitality and viability, which this application does based on the applicant's own figures, it should be refused. So I'd like councillors to consider this very, very carefully because I think we're setting a very poor precedent here. We can approve a supermarket on this site, we can basically approve a supermarket anywhere. So I do again have wording that would support a refusal on this, which I'm happy to bring forward later, but obviously very interesting to hear what have to say.
itself to actually making the whole of the site possibly uh, a bit more attractive in terms, in terms of appeal. And certainly, you know, if, if someone come in knocking on, on the door of this council and said, I'm going to create 50 jobs, you would be quite chuffed, wouldn't you? You'd be quite pleased to say, yeah, we'll create 50 jobs in a locality where jobs are scarce and very again. So, so my view is that on balance, um, and some of the decisions we've made in the past, and I, I know Pat, Pat talked about this, but we have looked at some of the big industrial units where we've actually conceded that if you've been on the market for five years, and the only person that's come along in the market has been, say, a leisure facility, which we let some of the industrial units go for leisure uh, facilities, then, then that is the bed in the hand uh, as, uh, as opposed to the bush. But I think, uh, on balance, uh, and if, you know, if the spurious arguments we had on, on the last application, if a scramble by turns up, then we can't have a petrol station. But if someone buys a bottle of beer and goes and sits in the park, we can't go to the supermarket. Let's not give in to the, the, the odd people who could, who could disrupt society and say, because we built something, we've got to attract vandals. Well, let's do something about the vandals. So, so that, that's my other comment. So, so on balance, I think it's a good thing. And the other thing to remember, Pat, that is our significant housing developments in the pipeline uh, just adjacent to there. Some 340 houses, I think, we did a previous application for. So we're doing our bit to revitalise that area by putting more residents, which would be more opportunities for shopping and more people to go to be fair. So I think our balance, I think we should support that. Thanks, Steve. Joe, did you want to say something? Yeah, but without going on what's already been said, I mean, I hear what Pat's saying about the fair shop. Um, with closure of the co-op, I mean, being a ward council, we are in sorts um, with an major supermarket to, I mean, we're not too far away from doing that deal, to get somebody to move into there. Oh, otherwise, I, I, I hear what you're saying and I would support it, but I, on, on balance, I have to support this application, to be honest with you. There are issues, um, yeah, there is a, we've seen, we've had an unemployed resident support, but it doesn't mean we ignore those people who, not, if, 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 who don't support it. And the majority of the people who I've spoken to in the last couple of days, in the last couple of weeks, have got issues regarding the traffic. I mean, I know in, in, in the uh, highway traffic implications, the same with no implications, but a service in Pat Sack talked about a link. I mean, Port Causeway there, we have got no excess signs, we've got a ballot um, operation, which is unfortunately not working at the moment. I think we need to start looking into that because it, it will, I fear, it will create a link between the cross and Tualby. Because people will say, let's shoot down to all the other feeds of the cross. And unfortunately, I think that, that's what will happen on the fourth causeway. Okay, I know that's not a planning issue, and I'm saying that's what can happen. As Steve says, that's what can happen with someone that's going by a drink and sit in the park. We can't foresee that, and it's not a planning issue. But, yeah, it is a highway issue, and, we, and as Warren alluded to in the speech there, um, we will monitor the situation should this application go through. Yeah. Stuart, did you want to say? Yeah, I, I, was, I was going to make a similar point about the, um, the, the pressure that a, a retail development there would put on to youth therapy. And I haven't got an air got you know, to you, that's it. In the sense that youth therapy, I'm certainly employed, these are very radical uh, chain employment, almost along the lines of Red Street. It's too large at the centre and it does need to be, um, it to be reduced. But the figures, um, don't, don't make pretty reading for even the reduced new family. Uh, even the uh, officer report talks about well over half a million pounds being pulled out of other businesses in new family, notwithstanding the four and a half million pounds that were expected to divert from new family from their own store. So that's half, over half of the, um, of, of the current spend uh, in new family is going to be sucked away to it. And, in that sense, and you know, it, it is different. That's right, and, and you get a head of support on us. You know, people say, Yeah, we don't want this, we don't want to do that. But actually, from a planning point of view, from a planning committee point of view, we would prefer them to get to be fair because that's the retail centre. And if we shut the ball out of retail, <laughs> then it can only make it worse for retail. Now, Steve talks about the gateway, if you want to get the co-op, you see all the white buildings and what have you, then you get new fair. You know, I, I think we can get better, something better on that side. It might be um, uh, officers, you know, they, 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 they,
through the bypass. Um, but in the absence of really a way of, 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 a, of a firmer view that it won't harm the vitality of Albania, I don't think we should be reassigning this land from, from its um, industrial to a, to a commercial one.
theoretically, this is basically the average of its own data. It has its own data showing how much of the shopping center in the new store is going to come out of the existing town center. It's not theoretical. This is a clear departure from our policies. We have excellent grounds for refusing, and we should refuse it. Because as I said at the beginning, if we approve this, you can approve a supermarket anywhere.
which are apparently the substance of the petition are as follows, that it's no need for any more retail places in this area. Well, that's a little bit disingenuous, I think. Work is already underway at the premises, notwithstanding the planning issues, but I'm advised that those are internal alterations which they could probably have done anyway. Item three, the back alley has been closed and can no longer be used for an emergency fire exit. I just seek quite a clarification as to whether that is true or not. I'm advised that is incorrect. And fourthly, the shop has an asbestos roof. That is not a planning issue. Could you just comment, please, um, Matthew, on those particular facets of the complaint because they seem totally disingenuous to me.
application follows an enforcement complaint which concluded that imported soil had increased land levels within the garden area inside the required plant condition. The resulting increase in land levels came about following the removal of an old air raid area shelter that had previously existed in the centre of the rear garden area. The building itself remains unaltered and land levels have not raised at this point except a small amount of the rear of the building to allow for level access safety access. This small increase of 400 millimetres did not in itself require planning permission. Land levels have been raised by approximately 1.8 metres within the centre of the site, infilling the area which previously housed the air raid shelter. The highest land levels within the site remain unaltered, and uh, <coughs> as we move towards the site perimeters, the levels have increased slightly by 20 centimetres. The infill within the centre of the site has created a less severe slope within the site, which is now more gentle as it moves away from the residential road. The nearest residential property is some 25 metres away, and it's considered that uh, there would not be any harm created on neighbouring residential immunity by, by the raising of land levels due to the distances involved. Also, a 1.8 metre boundary fence runs along the perimeter of the site. Any impact on trees within the site, including some which were protected, has been, set, has been assessed by our tree officer, who has confirmed that it is satisfied that no harm will result to these trees. Since the report was finalised, uh, obviously we were aware that three objections have been received now from residents in Dale Gardens, which relate to the impact on trees, potential for input into Dale Gardens, and the retrospective nature of the application. Any impacts on adjoining properties? Properly considered, and having regards to the distances achieved and boundary treatments already in place, it's not considered that a refusal of plant permission can be sustained as well as it would not be so hard as, as to sustain a reason for refusal. The application is recommended for approval if there's no additional objection. And we don't have a board council here, so I'm going to.